Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about Yersinia pestis, the organism responsible for the bubonic plague, among other diseases, also known as the Black Death. Yersinia pestis is a gram-negative, non-motile, non-spore-forming, rod-shaped, facultative anaerobe coccobacillus and is the agent responsible for wiping out greater than one-third of the European population between the years 1347 and 1353 in what is commonly known as the Black Death, Black Plague, or the Second Pandemic. This was discovered in 1894 by Alexander Yersin, but has been plaguing the human civilization since four to 5,000 years ago, dating back to the Bronze Age. One of the most well-studied pandemics is the Plague of Justinian that took place in the Eastern Roman Empire between the years 541 and 542 AD, resulting in nearly 25 to 50 million deaths which at the time was equivalent to between 13 and 26 percent of the world's population. The second pandemic, known as the Black Death, or the Great Plague, took place between the years 1347 and 1351, sweeping across Western and Eastern Europe and resulting in an estimated 75 to 200 million deaths. And finally, the third pandemic, also known as the modern day plague that began in the Yunnan province in China in 1855, claiming nearly 25 million lives. Some have argued that white pestis brought the human race closer to the edge of extinction than any other living organism in the documented human history. The organism is transmitted by infectious droplets, contact with contaminated tissues or flea bites via contaminated animals. The most common route of transmission in the past pandemics were flea bites. The organism infects a flea forming biofilm inside the foregut that appears as a black mass. When the flea feeds on a host, the biofilm and the organism are regurgitated into the wound spreading the infection. Other mechanisms of transmission include contact with infected tissues or aerosols. Pathogenesis in mammals follows the general pattern of skin penetration via flea bites or aerosol inhalation, expression of the capsular protein, which facilitates immune cell evasion. Uh, it is coded by the p fra plasmid. Uh, expression of the antifagocytic antigens F1 and LCRV, expression of pesticin, a plasminogen activating protease with temperature dependent coagulase activity, which may allow invasion and further protection of the organism from host defenses, the use of the type 3 secretion system to inject proteins into macrophages and immune cells causing cytolysis as a result of action of the YUP proteins, which are coded by the PCD1 plasmid, eventually leading to widespread cell death, necrosis, and organ failure. There are three general forms of the disease. Pneumonic, which is transmitted via an aerosol, animal-to-animal -animal contact, and has a two to six day incubation period and nearly 100% chance of fatality if left untreated for longer than 24 to 48 hours. The bubonic plague, which typically follows contact with contaminated tissues or flea bites. This form results in a 50 to 60% chance of death in an incubation period between one and eight days. And finally, the septicemic form, which is a progressed form of the disease with nearly 100% chance of a fatality without immediate treatment. Fortunately, antibiotic resistance has not been identified as a significant problem associated with Yersinia pestis to this day. Streptomycin remains an effective antibiotic when administered in a timely manner. Historically, Live, inactivated, and attenuated vaccination has been at least anecdotally effective at prevention of transmission, limiting of severity, or stopping disease progression. However, the data on the use of such vaccines is limited, and currently there is no approved vaccine for the treatment of Yersinia pestis in the U.S. 
The mechanisms by which Yersinia pestis has been potentially slower at acquiring antibiotic resistance have been proposed, but it is not clearly understood whether such acquisition is unlikely to happen altogether. As one can imagine, acquisition of antibiotic resistance for such a virulent organism can be a serious problem for the human race. The plague continues to be found in Sub-Saharan Africa, Madagascar, the US, as well as Europe. Uh, such uh, search for an effective low-cost vaccine is ongoing and necessary. Identification of virulence factors that can serve as optimal targets for vaccine development remains somewhat elusive, with several ongoing clinical trials showing early promise of both safety and efficacy. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed this overview of Yersinia pestis.